In the previous episode, we had many back and forth sieges. We took some fiefs from the Northern Empire and Vlandia. War was declared on the Cusate, and Butania declared war on us, and then Sturgia. Yeah, why do we have these? You know, let's just dump the prisoners. We don't need them. I was going to say, it might make sense to take an easy fief, but there is no easy fief to take in, in Batania. They're really hard to, to crack. But what we can do is, they're really not forming an army. Yeah, I don't know if they're just too broke. They don't have any influence or something. We could take Remtoil. That's pretty weak. And then that'll probably draw in the little one-off parties. Now, I don't want them running into their the safety of their fief. This guy's going to go in, but it's only 27. That's fine. Oh, wait, wait. What happened? Oh, no, those are raids. Okay, I thought I saw Varen Castle. Yeah, they're raiding us, but they're not actually... Nope, there's an army. Okay, we need to go. We're prioritizing defense over offense at this point. Yeah, if we can catch this small army, that would be good. They took Joguris. That's good. We're not going to catch this guy ever. We have to wait for him to siege something. What is going on here? Oh, that's Abuelitos. <laughs> Every time I see that guy, it reminds me of those little Mexican cookies, the Abuelito. We just sued for peace with these guys. Now they're going to war. What are you doing, Durthurt? Oh, boy. We have to play defensive now. We definitely can't siege anything. We're going to have to wait for that 900 army to, to come our way. All right, yeah, Siege Baron, so we can wipe you out. Beautiful. Actually, we'll let these two... No, they aren't going to join. I thought they were going to join. Let's, let's fight this one in person. In all fairness, it's a good move, right? We're preoccupied. It's just kind of weird because I don't know why he would declare war at this moment. We'll counter his horse archers with our own horse archers. We'll just use them to screen. So get up there and screen. Yeah, we're going to stay in reserve. Go we'll swarm them. Chase them all the way back to their, their line. Yeah, this is the stuff that when you don't have RTS camera, this right here is the stuff that's that's hard to, to stomach after you've been playing with RTS for so long. So slow. Right, let's actually pull the horse archers near us. Right, hopefully they can counter their horse archers, but they seem to be missing everything. Right, I'm actually going to pull them back. Let's get our cab involved. They're going to just blow through all their ammunition, which is kind of annoying. All right. We'll focus the cab on them, and then let's get our infantry up there again. And then horse archers will stay with us. All right, they only have 61 archers, although we don't really have that many either. We've been focusing on melee troops. Oh, I definitely don't want you guys to charge their infantry. What are you doing, dude? Did we wipe out their horse archers? Oh, they did, yeah. Okay, well, that makes sense. They don't know what to attack, so they just attack whatever. Pretty happy they took out the horse archers, though. We'll send our horse Retreat. archers in. Right, let's go archers on the left. We're going to use our cav to act as a security force. We'll just creep up and try and knock them off the little hill that they have. It's not much of a hill, but I still don't want them to have any hill. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Charge right, charge right into our infantry. All right, they're actually moving their infantry off the hill, so let's go ahead and retreat back a little bit so we can get some flanking shots. Archers are in a decent spot. This should be fine. Right, our cab will counter charge their cab. Our horse archers are just going to stand and fight with these guys since we outnumber them so much. It doesn't really matter. And we need to charge with our archers so that they can get in there and kill the cab. Oh, they got reinforcements. Interesting. All right, we need to pull our archers away then. And we need to pull our cab back because they might run right through the reinforcements. Yeah, they got a bunch. Looks like they're over there, but it's hard to tell. It looks like we took out all the cab. They have just a handful, probably recruits if I had to guess. This is a very easy victory. Yeah, they're just going to walk straight over the hill like dummies. So we'll pelt them a bit. Let's send our cab off wide on the flank and then we'll have them charge the archer. Oh no, the archers are dead. They only have 10 left. Never mind. Let's get much wider than they are and then we'll charge in. There we go. Yeah, like I said, we're going to wipe them out pretty badly. 26. So it's, this is probably about the same as what we would have gotten with an auto-resolve, actually. Maybe we'll just auto-resolve these. Oh, come on, banner bearer. There we go. Take that banner. We got their eagle standard. All right, nine people left. Yeah, 27 losses. It's very acceptable considering we killed 617. And we didn't even use our archers. We had only 90 archers. It's mostly our melee troops. Okay, what do we got? So this guy, will definitely we're going to take Durable. It gives him plus one endurance and then plus one loyalty if we ever decide to use him. Now I know he's got plus one loyalty already from one of the Archer perks. Yeah, this one. So he's got plus two loyalty. If we ever need a good governor, he could be pretty good. We went from peace to three wars within like two days. So they got that guy under control. 
I don't know. Oh, there they go. Okay, I didn't see that. Shoot, we gotta get their... They don't have their siege camp set up yet. So we should be fine. Oh, boy. Their third... Don't do it, their third... 191. How much does it cost us to break in? 78. I feel like we wouldn't even lose that much if we auto-resolve. Let's see, I'm just gonna test it. So if we auto-resolve... We lose 104, yeah. So if we lose 78, then we still have to fight. We would have to lose less than 28 troops for it to be even. We're better off just fighting everybody. It doesn't even matter. And also, a lot of these troops are probably the militia. Let's see what they got. Yeah, the garrison lost 5. Militia lost 25. So yeah, the 100%. It's actually better just to auto-resolve outside. We got the real prize here. Where is he? Oh, I think one of our companions have him, actually. But we did take Durthurt. Who's got Durthurt? Actually, does this place have room? No, they've got too many prisoners. What about, oh, Varen Castle. We gotta, we're playing whack-a-mole now. That's what we're doing. Another massive army. All right. So send troops. Yeah, 41 losses. It's going to be hard to replicate that in real life. Unless we have really OP army, which we don't. But the good thing is we're not losing hardly any people in these battles. And that means that our troops are surviving and we're going to have tons of upgrades. We'll have a pretty elite. Yeah, look at that. 235 waiting to go. So this is the plan that I was hoping to do so we're going to convert everybody to manabliton we're just going to have a massive army of manabliton that's what we're going for now diathma joguris all right so we're getting sieged pretty badly here it's got 600 defenders though so that one may not go and that might actually be a big sturgeon party so that would be a problem yeah we can't really do much here we have to play defensively all right here's another one. Oh wow 1200 okay we just killed two armies from them didn't we I think those were all uh, Vlandians. And now we got another big one. Let's see if anybody's got points. Nope. There's 284 here. So it's it's actually not bad. We need to heal. Let's heal up and we'll wait. I want this guy to burn some of his troops before we go in. We just need to keep an eye. Yeah, this is like free kills. We'll be even with him pretty soon. Nothing else being sieged? No, we're good. We'll take Vlandi out pretty quickly here. All right, now I think it's a good time to go in. Yeah, we're still pretty heavily favored. Let's just auto-resolve it. Yeah, 115. And that's, like I said, most of that's going to be the garrison. Yeah, the militia lost 35. The garrison lost 15. So really, we lost 50 minus 115. We lost barely 70 troops. Yeah, and a battle like that's going to take 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. So, okay. So what are we doing here? They have too many prisoners now. Baron is being sieged again. Although this one's Batanian army. <laughs> we lost 15 troops. Yeah. We're basically holding back two kingdoms all on our own. Is what we're doing right now. We need to heal. Can we go in here without them? Oh, wow. So many prisoners. Look at all that roguery they just got. That's a lot of prisoners they gave up. So let's chill here for a sec because we're going to get a, a healing bonus. And hopefully that allows us to get back back in the fight quickly. Arizona was taken. I think it's a Kazate castle, isn't it? Like on the border with Asurai. I prefer the foot troops. All right, let's get away see if they'll siege. Yeah, there you go. They're going to go after the same target. You greedy bastards. All right, we need them to siege so that we can actually catch them. 20 losses, no big deal. And we're actually getting pretty much all that back. This lady's max, we just start pumping out her combat skills. All right, everybody's assigned points. Let's, uh, all right, 16 losses, and we get 11 of them back. How are we looking on upgrades? All right, so we're starting to get some Manabliates on. We don't have everybody there, but we got a decent amount. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, another war. <laughs> We're at war with everybody except for Asurai now. Here we go. And it starts. So this could actually be really bad for us. Because now we have to contend with another one in the north. And the AI is just not handling it well. We took a thief. I think we lost Joguris though. I think we had that already and we lost it. Gauss Castle's at play. Diathma is still being sieged. I don't think this is going to fall. I think Sturgia is just stuck there. So Sturgia is not a problem. The Northern Empire will be a problem for maybe one or two thieves until they run out of troops. Kazate doesn't seem to be too much of an issue, but... And then we're holding the West all on our own, so we have to do that. All right, peace with Kazate. Do we want to do this right now? They don't look like they're going to siege anything. We lost a single fief, but I think it's better to shut this front down so we can focus on the rest. Let's let this pass immediately. And then we need to let some time pass and see who's going to be attacking next. We can't go on the offense now. If we go to peace with either Vlandia or Britannia, we can attack the other. So we can't do it right now because... Even though we have most of their nobles captive, it's just not a good idea. They're going to siege and take stuff. So let's go drop prisoners off. Yeah, see, we somebody's already sieging us down. So we'll throw some nobles in there. We'll grab some mercenaries, and then we'll head back out. 
Oh, did the game just crash? Oh, <laughs> look how much loot we have. We have almost half a million worth of loot. So obviously too much. All right, don't crash on the game. Make sure we're not selling horses here. 36k, what the heck do we own in the horses? That's so expensive. It's probably horse armor, if I had to guess. All right, we have that. We don't have any of this stuff, so let's just buy a bunch. We'll get a little bit of XP for it. All right, that's a pretty sizable force. You know what we're going to do? Nobody's attacking anybody else. Oh, they are. Okay, we need to go. Yeah, I was going to say, let's wait for them to assault so we can use the garrison. When you're attacking, when they're still setting up the siege camp, you do not use the garrison. If they assault the town or the castle, when you attack them, the garrison and militia actually join you. So you have to wait for them to assault to be able to use their troops as well. 16 losses. That's acceptable. If we were able to convert prisoners, this would be 10 times easier because then we could sustain this indefinitely. Like we're losing a handful of people each time we fight. We could probably convert 10 or 20 prisoners a day. And so it's not that big of a deal. Now we will wait on this one. Let's wait so we can pick up the... Oh, these guys jumped in. You idiots. All right, we're going to go in then. <laughs> we'll use the other AI to help us out, I guess. One of our little nobles decided to jump in and be brave. Dimitri the Lover gained a level. All right, we got level 29. We're going to put it into writing. We can't really use it, but it'll help us use a faster horse. At least we can move around the battlefield a little bit faster. And let's keep upgrading. And let's actually chill here for a sec so we can heal. Yeah, we've got over 100 casualties right now. All right, we're good. All right, how are we doing over here? They are sieging Gauss. That would be really good to take back so we don't have a hole in the middle of our kingdom. There's not really, like I said, Diathma, I think it's being sieged by Sturgia. And I think they're just, oh no, they're, they're actually sieging it now. That's what it looks like. No, they're not. Oh, why are they getting injuries then? There must be a bunch of injuries from from the siege weapon duels, maybe. That's kind of weird. We might need to go there and, and break that siege, but we can't really leave here. There's Varon again. So we're just going to play whack-a-mole for a little bit. Like I said, as soon as we leave, somebody's going to siege and then we're going to have to come back and retake it. It's better if we just play defensively until we have the right moment. The more we capture their nobles, the more war exhaustion or whatever you want to call it they get, the more war exhaustion they stack up. Uh, we'll be able to sue for peace with at least one of them and then and then go take some land. This one makes zero difference. Oh, here we go. We got a real fight on our hands. All right, this one, we will use the garrison troops. It's not that much. Let's separate them out so they don't keep reinforcing. All right, they're attacking. We can use the garrison now. We still have the advantage. I don't want to fight this at night and it's going to take forever. So let's just see what our auto resolve looks like. We're getting two to one, three to one. Yeah, we're getting about three to one. That's fine. Totally acceptable. We lost 108 troops. And again, most of those are garrison and militia. Yeah, 30 and 8. So about 40 of those deaths are actually not even ours. So we barely lost 80 troops. That is completely acceptable. And then let's go ahead and get some very good gear here, I'm hoping. We got a lordly pavis. Yep, we'll upgrade our, our pavis. I love this shield, man. This is like my favorite shield in the game. It's heavy as hell, but it's really good. So that worked out pretty well. I don't know that they have too many more nobles in their back pocket. Our companions are starting to get the higher level of medicine as well. So 200 medicine, it's going to keep their low tier alive. So when they start recruiting these low tiers, they'll actually have a chance to level up and make a higher tier. Actually, we probably need to chill for a sec. We got quite a few injuries after that. Let's go sit down. We got to keep an eye out for other sieges so we can break out. All right. I don't know how many people they have left. Like we have so many of their... They're people captive. So Batania, we have 19 prisoners, which is probably like half of their, their kingdom. Vlandi, we have 37. I mean, come on. How many people do you have left? How do you have so many people? I don't know if we can strike out yet. Actually, no. Lanakan is perfect. This is like right on the border. We can definitely do that. So we'll try it. We may have to break off. There's hardly anybody here. I'm tempted to auto-resolve this. So we'll take roughly 2 to 1 casualty ratio, but we'll heal at least like 60% of those. So at 260, we would probably have about maybe 100 casualties. Yeah, I'd say maybe 100 deaths. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's about two to one. No, we're evening it. It's not quite two to one. And the thing is, like I said, most of these are not even deaths. So let's do it. This is fine. 31. Oh, that's, that's a no brainer. We're actually, I way overestimated what they would do in casualties. All right, so we're good. We can just steamroll them now. Okay, we want to leave this immediately, and hopefully that'll force them to attack. They're going to want to attack it. Yep, there they go. We have to defend that too. All right, we can do this quickly, and then we have to go south because there's another big army down there that's that's attacking. 
Oh, you know what? I forgot. We're actually getting XP if we don't take loot. You know, we can just take the food, at least. Yeah, that'll help. We can level up a lot of these guys. Alright, we should be able to get there in time, I think. Continue without it for now. Alright, we are starting to take some heavy losses. We're getting grind down pretty quickly here, unfortunately. We need to go take some reinforcements. Okay, so we got something to bait them in here. I'm hoping it takes the pressure off of these because that'll give us time to... Or it'll be easier. We don't have to go back and forth as much. All right, so... Uh, I'm just trying to think. Oh, they took Diathma, so they actually did take it. We do have two armies here, though. So they'll probably go to retake Diathma. I don't think that'll be a hard one to retake. And then maybe... Oh, they didn't even take Gauss. These guys are so incompetent. Now that person owns Lennox. That clan owns a lot of fiefs now. And most of these we've personally taken, so... They owe us a big thanks. We're not even simping to the right person at this point. All right, I want to go get more troops, but I don't want to leave the area. Okay, yeah, we can go to peace with Batania. That'll give us time to focus. Uh, let's just make sure there's no sieges going on. I'm totally good with that. And then we can go maybe take Sargo. Actually, we probably should consolidate up here. Take Ab Khmer. Aster, take a bunch of these castles because they're going to be pretty easy to do. Yeah, let's do it. Epicrodia, Majadon, they're all cut off. Especially if we keep pushing this way, it's going to be even worse for them. So I think we just do that. We should be able to get back in time if they start to siege something else down. Orenia, that's fine. That's probably the Northern Empire doing that. There's not much we can do. We have to... Okay, here's another one. So let's take this out. Yeah, six losses. There's no way I would spend time to avoid losing less than six. It's silly. The problem that the enemy is going to have is that our troops are almost all elite. The more times we fight and these guys survive, the more elite they get. They're just going to have that much harder of a time. The thing that's going to drain our manpower is if we have to auto-resolve sieges. Because that just burns through your manpower no matter what tier they are. So let's try and siege Ab Khmer down. This may not work well. We might have to give it up. But our build progress is extremely fast. I think if we can get the walls down quick enough, then I think we'll be in decent shape. I wish they'd let you zoom out a little bit more when you're in a siege. It's kind of tough to see what's actually going on. Now, 1.2.5, they changed it. So you don't want to wait to the very end to, to release your guys. So we'll go about right here, and then we'll build them back out. Because there's a delay that doesn't happen instantly. They have to rebuild. See, now they all came out at the same time. And we can blast them. Start a blast. Them. Bam. Oh, they got strong walls here. Yeah, this is, this is going to take a little while. All right, Atrion Castle is being sieged. That's not one of the ones that we were... Yeah, Baron and the other one. All right, so we're good. Walls are down. We don't need to starve anything out. We just go in. We've got Manablion. We are going to destroy them. Arch! All right, where's the two breach? Isn't there breach up here? Why are they all zoom into that hole? Isn't there one up here? Let's reposition our archers so that they can have a little bit of effect over here at least. The other group over here. This is a pretty cool looking castle. All right, these guys are getting steamrolled. Like I said, we... Our front line is mostly elite at this point, and they're Manablion, so they're going to chew through whatever shields they have as well. So this one's going pretty well. We only lost three people. We'll get it a little lower, and then we'll back out and auto-resolve the rest. Oh, they got a contingent of archers up there. Yeah, look at all the Manablion. They're just smashing people. Actually, let's not let them shoot. Let's distract them. Oh, they're so focused, man. They don't <laughs> they don't want to take their eyes off this giant mob. Yeah, Manabliton destroyed everybody. They got 62 kills. Alright, we lost three people. Cost us three people to take a fief. That's basically free real estate. Yeah, Atrion's up here. There's nothing we can do about that. We just gotta wait. Oh, Brigade's taking this one. Nice. See, we simped hard. We won a castle for her. Oh, they took Lanakan. When the hell did they do that? We were literally just here. I didn't see anything get sieged. Oh my god, they got another 600 troops. All right, well, we need to take this guy out, retake that castle, and then boot these guys out. Get out of here, man. 23 losses. We don't have as big of an advantage now because we're our numbers are reducing, so we gotta we gotta be careful. I mean, we're burning through an entire kingdom worth of units all on our own, so it's not really a surprise. All right, let's keep a really close eye on everything. Let's just assault and see what happens if we don't take anything. We'll probably be okay. I'm just curious to see how long it takes and how smooth it is. How many losses we'll have. Bowman, All right, well, whatever. Let's see what happens. Forward. 
As long as they don't have siege equipment, they can't do that much damage to us. That's the thing I was mostly worried about, so... Wait, did that guy- he was literally at the top and they just pushed the ladder off. I see, did anybody see that? I didn't know you could push the ladder down when you're literally at the top. Right, and the other ladder is not going up because they're not seeing it or something. Right, where is the- oh, there's the other ladder. Let's see if we can push it up for them. Put up both ladders, please. So we're not really taking losses doing this, so this is acceptable as well. We don't necessarily need to do the siege equipment if it's not a big garrison. We lost a single troop doing this. If we auto-resolve this, we would have lost like 30 people, 40 people. Probably worth it. Alright, they got a single archer left. Uh, not anymore. Alright, this thing's getting passed around a lot, unfortunately, but not much we can do about it. Everybody has maxed out Stuart. We have only a couple people that don't have maxed out medicine. But that's going to make a big difference too, because then their troops are going to have a higher survival rate during these battles. So getting them up is going to help. Let's go grab some mercenaries. At least we can do that. Yeah, four sword sisters. I mean, it's not a lot, but... And let's see if we can sell some stuff, because we have... I don't really want to go overburdened. Oh, you know, there's somebody that didn't have a banner. Dingleberry. All right, Dingleberry, you're getting that one. All right, I don't think we need that much grain. We'll take care of everything else you got. Yeah, 150. Jeez, man. We have so much loot. Let's just get rid of it. We're, we're kind of overburdened. All right, uh, let's go grab mercenaries. Since we're close by, we should be able to get back to defend. We just got to keep an eye out, make sure that nobody's getting attacked. And then we'll get rid of some of our loot here. 106k. Let's get rid of... I know the armor is going to be the one that has way over. It's going to be like minus 300. Yeah, 250. Whatever. We don't need it. Well, they seem to be running out of steam here, so let's start taking more castles. Oh, there they go. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Exactly what I was waiting for. 600. So every time they come back, they don't come back with like two or 300. They're they're actually coming back with a pretty big party. But it doesn't make a difference. We're still going to stomp them. All right, let them drop off their prisoners. And we'll take Talavel. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to take Aster. Like I said, I, I wanted to clean out. Oh, they took Carbansith. I think it's... No, you know, we need to consolidate and make it easier to defend these fiefs. So let's take Talavel. And this one, they do have a pretty uh, peace offer with Landis. All right, so I doubt we can do this, but we'll try. They're going to want a super peace before we can finish. Peace offer with Sturgia as well. This one goes in how long? Two days? Yeah, there's no way we take this in two days. And we're not assaulting into two siege engines. Yeah, let's just give it up. We took two fiefs. Actually, we took three fiefs from them, so this is that's not a bad progress. I mean, it's slow, but it's not as not as bad as it might seem. So we're going to go to peace with Vlandia and Sturgia, which means we can go finish off the Northern Empire. I think that's what we'll focus on then. Now, peace with Sturgia doesn't make sense. We should definitely not go to peace with them. We need to take Diathma back, but what can you do? All right, so Vlandia, that's fine. Go to peace. Like I said, we can't control these votes. Prisoners that auto-convert, we can take those from battle. But aside from that, yeah, we, we can't get anything else. So we have to go back to recruit. We're not recruiting prisoners. We only have nobles in our prisoner party. Yeah, what I was thinking about doing is just taking all of this so that we kind of have a nice even front right here with Vlandi and Batania. Like, if we take Batania, now we're, we're fighting in a gigantic circle. It's going to be kind of tough. If we fight with Asurai, we can hold them right here at Garantor and Ortiza, so it's not too bad. If I take up here... Now we're split between Southern Vlandia, Northern up here. So that's why I was trying to consolidate this bottom area, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're at peace with them anyways. We'll let this war vote time out. We need to go back and grab some troops. So let's go do that. So Southern Empire, we just lost a big part, a big army. <laughs> Idiots. They lost it to Sturgia. Can we just... Oh, the Sturgia vote failed. That's what happened. Nice. That's actually really good. Let's go to rotate, take troops. We don't want to spend time recruiting. We just need to go. We'll recruit a few on the way, but we need to just go and then try and take that that fief back. All right, whatever, kid. So our our buddies are gonna. Samantha's being attacked. All right, rotate. Here we go. So let's take mercenaries, whatever they got in here. Let's top out everybody's party. We got some stuff that we shouldn't have in here. Let's just clear them out. We're allowed to take prisoners that are part of the other empire. It's not a big deal. Like if. If we attack and there's 150 people we can take after battle, we can take them and just we'll just throw them in our our buddy's party. But yeah, we can't recruit prisoners necessarily, like uh, convert them. All right, so now what we do is let's go to the garrison. 293, it's not a big garrison, man. We're going to drain the whole thing. But that's what you got to do. Yeah, we'll leave them with 83. That's fine. Probably not going to be in 
uh, danger of being besieged anytime soon, so I think we'll be alright. Let's also go grab some food. So, Diathma, let's go take that. We'll close this out. Alright, you can raid. I really don't care. Now, we gotta be careful here. I don't want them to retreat back. We'll go in like that. There we go. So, 355, very reasonable. We could do this. Prob no. Yeah, let's, we'll build... Wait, what? They can build all siege engines at the same time? That's definitely new. That's not normal. I mean, that's pretty cool for defense, though. But yeah, I've never seen that before. All right, they're going to stack up on us, which is fine. Actually, their garrison's going to starve in a couple days. They're going to have literally nobody left to defend, so we can take our time here if we want to conserve troops. May not be a terrible idea. Yeah, six days to starve. No, they're going to take over. I hate that, dude. I freaking hate that. Actually, no, we're still in the lead. Okay, good. So who is that? Yesterday, we had a bunch of people take over our siege, and it was so annoying. But now this time, it doesn't look like that's the case. So we'll take the walls down. We'll take it nice and slow so we don't have to go back and recruit a bunch of people. We'll wait for daytime. All right, we're good. Hopefully, they go through the right hole. And that did not come out right, did it? Yesterday, we were talking about horses. Now we're talking about, you know, wrong entry. They're gonna, we're going to get age-restricted here a bit. All right, let's uh, let's get these archers in a better better spot. All right, so they're kind of shifting. Like some of these, the left group is going to the right, some of the right's going left. I don't know why that is. But... All right, let's lead from the front. We have no weapon, but all we need is our voice. Cheer the men on. Do your duty, men. Oh, they're like completely disinterested. If we had a weapon, we can punch these guys. Oh, okay, he stabbed us. <laughs> All right, that's not going to work. And we've lost two people so far. Wow. These sieges are really, really easy. Crazy. All right, 22 people left. Let's not waste our time. We can back out and just auto-resolve. We're not going to lose anybody. Upgrading we go. Yeah, a lot of Manavlion. We're going to destroy everybody with those. All right, we can pick up a few. Oh, wow. We literally didn't lose anybody, did we? We can't even pick up a handful of mercenaries. Yeah, we gotta fire people now. But we have recruits. I think one of the perks that's gonna help us out quite a bit. Where's the one that gives you... No. There's one that gives you XP for every siege engine you build. Yeah, plus 5 XP to troops when a siege engine is built. That's gonna help a lot. Because we're gonna be building a lot of siege engines. So that'll help level up all of our peasants and stuff. Okay, I don't want to mess with Sturgy anymore. I'm worried that they're gonna come down and take Diathema again, but... I think it's fine. Oh, maybe they give it back to us. Please give it back to us. Yes, we got it. All right, sweet. Dimitri the Lover, six fiefs. <laughs> All right, we are in business. So now what we can probably do is boost up the garrison here. Actually, 77 is not bad. Let's hang out here for just a minute. I want to make sure this thing does not fall again. They're going to raid, aren't they? Yeah, these little rat bastards. So let's take control, make sure that we can catch these guys so they don't get out. I should execute this guy, to be honest. I hate when they raid. Absolutely hate it. All right, see if we can get back to catch this guy in time. Yeah, we can. Nice. That'll give our thief a little bit of time to build up. It's not even 3,000 prosperity. That's kind of a problem. What do we want, stream? I want you to leave my peasants alone. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like it's like the noise you make when you stub your toe really hard. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. We can upgrade. My assumption is they're going to keep attacking this. So let's actually go up this way. I really want to shut down the Northern Empire. But if we leave, we're going to put these guys at risk. And the problem with that is every town that we own, it gives us a plus five to each party. So owning this one town increases our party size by 25. So it, it does help. They're not starving anymore. As long as we keep them from raiding, which is what they were trying to do. So why don't we head this way? We'll cut them off at least. And we're not just sitting there and doing nothing. We can come up here and put some pressure on their main fiefs. 